What's up, Price Ball Nation? It's Ben, back again, bringing you the Nutrix Plant Protein Taste Test. Welcome to Price Plow. So, if you watched our interview last week with Max Fairchild, the Director of Innovation, I want to say his title is, for Nutrix, we sat down on Skype and we talked with him about his plans for the natural line for Nutrix, about his uh, background, how he got into this, and why he was excited to bring the natural series to Nutrix. So they sent out three beta samples for me, uh, vanilla caramel, German chocolate, and cinnamon cookie. Uh, a couple things that Max said for us was that as a plant protein, uh, it's easier to do a combination of flavors, so not just vanilla, but vanilla caramel. Uh, cho chocolate's just not chocolate, it's German chocolate and cinnamon cookie instead of just cinnamon, I guess. So we know that these uh, were made with C8 Advantage. Uh, so I'm expecting these to be kind of smooth. There's uh, a decent amount of MCT in there. Uh, it's a, it's, see if I can get this right. Pea, sunflower, brown rice. I had to cheat. Pea, sunflower, brown rice, and pumpkin seed. So I'm very interested in what these are gonna come out like because I don't think I've ever had pumpkin seed protein or sunflower protein, that's for that fact. All right, so we've got, uh, it's one scoop for 68 ounces. It's really, I'm gonna see if I can get close and get it on this. It's kind of, it's it's a very interesting consistency. It's almost like wet sand. Clumps very interestingly. So one scoop for 68 ounces. I put seven ounces of cold water and then added, a, added some ice. We're gonna do first Vanilla caramel in the bomb battle shaker. So I've tasted a fair amount of plant proteins in my lifetime. During my time with Nutrio, I sat through all the flavor testings for the organic plant protein. All right. It is the least chalky, least Play-Doh-y, Least plant protein, plant protein I've ever tasted in my life. I can't believe that's not plant protein. To be completely honest. I keep waiting for like... When I was trying a lot of plant proteins, I would always talk about the Play-Doh taste. I don't know, I don't know, I've never tasted Play-Doh. But, if you taste it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's interesting because it's not like the most creamy vanilla ever. It's a vanilla caramel. Like, vanilla caramel is the exact way to describe this. And I don't know if they were aiming for, for vanilla caramel or made of vanilla and then realized that it had a caramel aftertaste to it. But it's a very um, light vanilla to start and it ends off with a, a, like a sweet caramel. Okay, I'm going to hold off on my final thoughts until I finish the last flavor, because we've got three to go here. All right, so, bullet. We're going to do German chocolate. Now, I'm going to do cinnamon cookie last, because cinnamon cookie was the one that I smelled. Uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't wait all weekend. I, I really wanted to smell it to know what that smelled like, because it's a plant protein. And I wanted to know what I was getting myself into. So for you guys, uh, ch chocolate's usually my flavor. Vanilla isn't. Vanilla, I, I will buy if I'm gonna be mixing, like if I know I'm gonna be mixing carbs with it, fruits or anything like that, I'll buy vanilla during like a bulking cycle so I can add stuff to it, but normally chocolate's my flavor. So German chocolate, I, I've never been to Germany, I've never had German chocolate. Although during FIBO, I noticed a lot of people eating German chocolate. So I'm excited to try this out, let's see. Okay, so my face probably gives it away on the vanilla one. It's a, it's a solid vanilla. It's good, right? But this, I would drink this. I would drink this. During the conversation with Max, we kind of talked about how, like, obviously, plant proteins, you have to mix them, right, to get the right essential amino acid complex for muscle building. And I even, I asked Max, I was like, you know, do do you feel like you need to take more of this to max the same 
dosage of a, an animal protein. We all kind of know plant proteins are not the best thing you can be taking, but if you have a lifestyle choice, if you have diet restrictions, if it's a, a moral thing for you, if you just don't eat animal proteins, you have to find something that works for you. So would I seek out a plant protein? Probably not. But that German protein, that's game time for me. All right, so I open this, the, the uh, cinnamon cookie. I poured it onto the top of the filter for the, the mixer bottle. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I always put the powder on top of the filter and then I shake it and it always works. But the whole area smells like cinnamon cookie right now. I'm almost afraid to try this because it smells so good that I might just have to get a whole bottle of it. And I don't think I've ever actually personally purchased plant protein before. It's always been like an obligation to taste it. All right. I feel like this might ruin whey protein for me after smelling it, but cheers. It tastes like ram cracker. Cinnamon cookie, yeah. That's really good. Nutrix, all right. Cinnamon cookie, number one, 100%. German chocolate, like 1.5. It's not even two, it's not even second place. It's like right after one. Uh, vanilla caramel, for me, it's third place, but I'm sure there are people who would really like this flavor. It's just, I'm not a vanilla guy or caramel guy to begin with, but I could drink this post-workout. Like, 260 pound man, I'm comfortable and saying I would drink this plant protein post-workout. Uh, nice job, Nutrex. I'm down with this, I'm excited. They pretty much told us that they're gonna have an athletic, natural line, which is, I think is something that has been missing from the industry. Man, this is badass. This is, this is sick. All right, so I'm gonna finish this off with, I just wanted to check the supplement facts panel. This was originally gonna be just a flavor um, video, but after our blog came out, Nutrex then released the Supplement Facts panel. So I'm going to include this, um, probably step over to the side here. I'm going to show it for you guys so you can check it out. Uh, three grams of fat, which is obviously going to come from the C8 Vantage. Um, there's four grams of carbs, which could be coming from a multitude of different areas, from the proteins uh, that they use because it, you know plant proteins are a little bit less pure. Um, 20 grams of protein. I haven't seen the amino acid profile yet, but Max assures us that he didn't even need to add any leucine or anything. They, they, they talked about all the different ways they could have had an amino acid profile that was similar to an animal protein, but he's confident in this one being good for you know stimulating muscle protein synthesis, mTOR being great for recovery. 130 calories per scoop. I'm sold. I love this. Uh, Nutrex, you got to send me a bottle of this cinnamon cookie because I'm going to use it. This, this is good. Nice job, guys. So for all of your information, you can go to pricepilecom slash Nutrex-Research, Nutrex-Research. Check it out. We're going to have all the new information for their new natural line. It's all exclusive to Pricepile, so you should sign up for all the alerts for Nutrex, and you'll get it all sent straight to your email. Any deals, alerts, new products, interviews, anything that we do, because we're going to be hopping back with Max Fairchild to talk about the next big product he has coming out, which he says is going to be a brand new category possibly. Check it out. Keep up to date with us and have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.